Hello and welcome to this week's Hidden Treasures. My name is Rosalind Smith, I'm the Museum Collections Officer for the Shakespeare Birthplace Trust. For this week's Hidden Treasures, I'm going to show you two sketches of the birthplace that were done in the 18th century. The first one I'm going to show you is this small sketch of the birthplace done by Philippe de la Motte in 1788. But it's based, probably based on an earlier sketch by, uh, an earlier painting, sorry, by the artist R. Green in 1769. Um, both of them appear to be uh, sort of quite fanciful sketches and probably um, not from real life. They were probably looking back at what the, the birthplace may have looked like when Shakespeare lived there, or the Shakespeare family lived there. Um, John Shakespeare purchased the birthplace in the mid-16th century and he first purchased this side, the west side, and then went on a couple of years later to buy the east side and they were two separate houses that he knocked into one. Um, the reason I think this sketch um, may be not from life uh, is that in 1603 the, this side of the building was purchased and turned into an inn and there's no evidence of that in, in this sketch. Um, if we move across to the second sketch, which is also dated 1769, we can see the inn just to the right hand side of the picture and uh, the signpost there it became the Swan and Maidenhead Inn. Um, this, although it's dated 1769 um, and claims to be at the time of the Garrick Jubilee, if we read this inscription along the bottom, is probably, was probably actually done years later in the 1790s. It seems to fit a description by Samuel Island in uh, 1795 and he says that the dormer windows and gable had been removed, the bay window altered to an ordinary lattice window and the porch taken away and the front fitted as a butcher's shop. So if we quickly go back to this sketch we can see that the gables, these gables here have disappeared by the time this sketch was done and that lends support to perhaps this sketch may have been done in the 1790s whereas if this one is based on a 1769 painting it is probably a painting that looks back at what the birthplace may have looked like during Shakespeare's lifetime so neither of them are what they claim to be and it's a bit of a detective, detective story to find out the real dates of the painting. But this one's definitely before, if it depicts reality, it's, it's before the early 19th century when the, the Maidenhead Inn um, was given a brick frontage. So it's probably done in the 1790s.